My name's Keith, and a uh, little background about me. I served eight and a half years in the Air Force. I did three tours in Afghanistan, and um, this is not the country I fought for. Um, I didn't vote for Trump in 2016. To be honest with you, I was entirely too demoralized to even vote. Um, I encouraged my entire family to vote for Gary Johnson. Um, this party no longer represents me. After an entire lifetime of voting Republican, it no longer represents me. It seems to represent white supremacy, bigotry, and fascism. And, uh, you know, Trump has never hid his true colors. He's always been what he is right out in front. And at some point, the voter base that accepts that behavior and continues to vote for him has become, become morally corrupted. Um, and clearly, it's time for Republicans, if they really just have to, to be ultra Republican and partisan, then they need to hold their nose and vote for Joe Biden uh, at least for that one office, because we cannot handle another four years of Trump. Um, I'm a political scientist and a veteran, and um, I, I don't recognize America. It seems like nothing is predictable anymore because the, only the most extreme um, run the conversation. This Trump, Trump is clearly a symptom of something greater going on with the American people. But in the meantime, until we address that, we have got to address Trump and get him voted out of office because it is, it's, it's out of control. Trump, speaking about minorities, tells a group of police officers not to be so careful with their heads when they arrest them. And suddenly police brutality and police violence goes up. That's not a coincidence. That's a measurable sociological impact. And um, it's time we did something about it. It's time for America to stand back up for what it believes in and for what it stands for, because Trumpism is not American. I really fear for our country if Trump tries to cheat and or deny the results of the election. I am afraid that we may end up in another, another civil war and America may not be recognizable. Um, it's, time to, it's time for America to be introspective. And... Um, and people on an individual level and on a collective level need to need to really think about what they stand for. And if they truly stand for it, then they need to stand up and stand for it. Not just say it privately, you know? Um, it's been heartbreaking to watch this country go the direction it has gone. And um, I just want to appeal to all the conservatives and all the Republicans out there and say that Trump is not conservative. He's not. We've got to get back to where one justice system applies to everyone. Not one justice system for us. And, uh, you know, not one justice system for black people and another ju justice system for them and the Roger Stones and the, and the white supremacists that stormed the state capitol. 